Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial we'll take a look at the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept plugin. This is a simple plugin perfect for accepting a PayPal payment for a service, product or donation on your site. Using the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept plugin you can create a product or service for sale similar to the one on my screen. So this is a cooking lesson service for sale and my customers have a choice of a basic lesson, gold lesson or platinum lesson all priced differently. They then can enter their phone number for contact regarding the lesson and click the pay now button. Now that we've taken a quick look at the type of product or service that can be offered using this plugin, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the easy configuration that allows you to accept payments in under 10 minutes. I've landed in my WordPress dashboard where I have the plugin installed and activated. Ensure you have this plugin active on your WordPress site before you continue. Once this plugin is activated, in your WordPress settings, you'll see a new menu titled WP PayPal Payment. Click on this to continue. It's on the Accept PayPal Payment Settings page that will create a product or service for sale. The first field is the WP PayPal Payment Widget Title. This will be the title of the widget on the sidebar. So put in something nice that your customers can see. So mine's Cooking Lesson Service. If you scroll down a little bit, ensure that your PayPal email address is entered and is correct. This is where all the payments will go to. Choose your payment currency. So for mine, it's US dollar, although there is a number of different payment currencies that you can choose from. The payment subject, so this is the name of the product or service that you'll be offering, and your visitors will see this one. So ensure it's nice. Uh, mine's cooking lesson service. You can offer a number of different payments. So I've got a basic lesson, a gold lesson, and a platinum le lesson, all at different prices. So you can state the price in the title, although ensure you put it in the price field as well. It shouldn't contain a symbol, um, but it can contain a decimal point. So we'll scroll down. You can mark this checkbox here to show another amount. This is mainly for donations, as the customer will be able to decide how much they pay. Show reference text box. You'll need to check this if you want your visitors to be able to enter in reference text. For example, an email, web address or phone number. And then here is where you'll enter the question that you'd like to ask. So mine is for their contact phone number so that I can contact them for their cooking lesson. So I've entered that in that field. You can have a return URL from PayPal and a cancel URL from PayPal. Those can both be entered in here. Your return URL from PayPal might be a thank you page. And if we scroll right to the bottom, you can choose which button you'd like. So there's a pay now button or a donate button. And once you've completed that, you can go ahead and you can update your options. That'll save everything that you have configured. Now that we've completed the setup needed for this plugin, I'll show you how you can put your product or service on a page. So we'll need to copy this short code here, ensure you've got it from start to finish, and we'll put it on a new page. So you can add a title, and then in the text editor, you can paste your code. I'll publish out my page, and when I view it, you can see that my product or service has been added to the page. Now that we know how to add our product or service to a post or page, I'll show you how you can add it to any menu on your WordPress site using a widget. So we'll head back to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to Appearance and Widgets. And I'll scroll down. And it's this WP PayPal Payment widget that we'll need to add to the menu of our choosing. So I'll just drag this one and I'll put it in my primary sidebar. So I've dropped that in there and now if I go and view my primary sidebar, the WP PayPal payment product or service should be there. 
So I'll refresh this and here it is on my WordPress sidebar. So someone could come here and they can choose what lesson they'd like, enter in their contact details and pay now. That would take them to PayPal where they could proceed with their purchase. So that brings me to the end of the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept Plugin tutorial. In this tutorial, we've had a look at the configuration needed for this plugin. We've had a look at how to add a product or service to a page and to a sidebar. If you have any further questions, please head to our forum.